All right, so uh, Dave here, uh, who you met today briefly, a complete surprise packet, which is great. Uh, we met December? Yes. Yeah, December, into the, into the mic. Yes. December. And so just um, explain briefly, pre-December, what this firm looked like. What was the sort of makeup of the firm, the style of the firm? Well, it probably started about two years ago when um, I really started challenging um, the model that I had at the time, which was a, a very transactional and reactive model. And it was one of those uh, situations where every month I'd wake up and I knew I was gonna be busy, I just didn't know what I was gonna be doing uh -huh. and who it was gonna be for. Okay. And uh, so, you know, just a kind of word of mouth, uh, uh, kind of asking around, I came across. You were about 600,000 in revenue though, something like that? Yes, yep. last year. Um, did you have three or four people? What was the headcount back then? I had uh, two, 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 two people. Okay. You plus two, so three of you then, right? So how did you, because we only met like six months ago, it was nothing. How did you get to hear about what, we, what we're up to here? Was it some referral or was it a marketing piece? What happened then? Do you remember that? I actually don't remember. Okay. I so think, uh, something came across your desk right. somehow. And so you turned up to this event in which location last year? Here in Houston. In Houston, okay. So that was in uh, November or December, if I recall. Uh, it was in December. In December. Yeah. So December, Houston, which is two months before tax season. Then you went to Kickstart in January with Colin. Correct. Yep, so you spent two days there, and then you've got two and a half months in tax season, and here we are, three weeks out of tax season. So you've really only, unless you've been implementing during tax season, you've been implementing for three months of the six. Well, I had some momentum uh, going into December. I, uh, what I didn't have is a clear game plan, which is what I got out of, uh, of being here for the firm now, because that, that kind of sparked a vision that I didn't really have very clearly defined. Kickstart allowed me to put it all on paper, but, mm -hmm. but there was a lot that I did between uh, the firm of now and the month later in, in wow. Kickstart. I went back and uh, quite you know, uh, joined Magnify. I uh, had a success manager who was very uh, engaging, and I just said, you know, show me everything I need to you know look at because I had a sense of urgency. So one of our team was helping you there pretty quickly. Yep. And so, so six months later, uh, you mentioned before, we literally doubled the monthly revenue. Correct. We've gone from 50 grand a month to 100 grand a month. Yes. And, and yes. how many people do we have now, total headcount? I still have two. Two? Two, two besides myself. <laughs> this is awesome, right? So, so we've, the overhead structure is the same, other than some marketing, some mm -hmm. uh, without, with us, so that sort of cost structure. But the rest is pure profit by the sound of this. That's correct. So well, that's pretty cool. Uh, any lifestyle changes with that, or? Well, um, you know, it's I'm banking it because I'm I'm want, I'm kind of wanting to make sure this is you know uh, going to continue. Okay. So and, uh, <laughs> Still want to believe it yet? Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, Tuck in, it away. I'm in a new territory because basically what I what I did is I created a subscription model. Yeah. So let's get into the details, right? So so we've, we've doubled revenue, which is pretty much you know profit is an extra fifty grand a month thereabouts. Mm -hmm. What have you actually done in the six months? Give, give us some detail around that. So I came up with a you know my own set of selling tools around what I you know, love to do for my clients, which is really around planning. So I created kind of what basically I call the strategic blueprint, mm -hmm. which allowed me to gather data uh, for a fee, and then I would then present ideas and recommendations, and every and then give them choices of a subscription. Like, so how many packages do you have in your subscription model? How um, many options? I have three. Three. Right now. So like small, medium, large, gold, silver, bronze type thing. Right. right. Uh, which one do they typically take up? Well, I've designed it uh, so that about about two thirds of them are in the middle, uh, the regular size. Okay. And then the you know, so, you know the large and then the small are, are for the fringes. Okay. So we've taken our service offering to be subscription versus time based selling, for example. Uh, we've packaged some services up. Um, how many of your clients have you converted across to the subscription so far? Well, 100% of everybody knew. Okay. So it was just I started with rolling this out to new clients only. And then I'm still in the process of converting the, some of the traditional clients over to the subscription model. Okay. But those are actually not, um, those are not my bigger clients. The bigger clients have now become the, or have been the, the new ones that I've been able to just start 
fresh with and present this new way of doing business um, without, in, without the history. What would be the approximate fee increase on the packet service in total? Like from that to that, because you're getting double the revenue, you've got some new clients plus some other ones. What's the approximate fee increase? Well, my situation may be a little, little unique because about a year and a half ago, I was charging a fixed fee that was paid up front uh, to do a project that might last a month to two months, but there'd always be kind of a lingering maintenance of that. Um, so I, I experimented with doubling the fee and spreading that over three months. Yeah. And uh, uh, people liked the fact that I was now giving them three months, even though I knew I was making twice the overall amount. And then I and then that worked. Uh, and so about a year a year ago, I said, well, what if I double it again and spread it over six months? And, uh, and then, you know, this is creative accounting or what? <laughs> this is great. Well, well, every time I was re-engineering the process to put more and more extra things that were going to allow me yep. to add value, adding value, adding value without a doubt. So I was able to cross-sell. You know, it might have started off as a tax planning engagement, but it turned into a strategic planning uh, or retirement or whatever. You know, whatever else I could identify the client needed, and uh, you know, it was just part of the membership. And then when I did, when six months worked, I said, well, what about a year? Uh, so I spread it over a year, and as of uh, December, uh, I now, it's just a monthly membership with a 5% increase every, on the anniversary date. Nice. Uh, so it's, it, and then the challenge is, I've, I, it, it puts me in a proactive uh, position of now looking for ways I can create value for the client. Right. Uh, even, and so I don't have any idea what I'm gonna do a year from now other than I know what they're gonna pay me, and I've gotta figure out what to, what to show them, which I have now, in, enormous tool chest of yeah, things that I can do for so I won't run out of Luckily, you're, you're trusting our process. Like the great unknown, it's okay. Because the how will present itself. Right. Awesome. What do you actually deliver in this package? What can this be the example of the package of the middle one? What is it? Well, it's, uh, so the, the bronze is basically, uh, you know, what they were used to, which is a, uh, which is a transactional, you know, it's just taking everything that they needed to get the compliance done, but now spreading it out over a, a, a month or a, on a monthly basis. The silver is add, sprinkling um, a little bit of uh, the planning to it, so it's a mid and maybe year end planning with a business review okay. and all that. And that's my that's kind of my sweet spot. And then the the gold package is is basically everything virtual, including you know the dashboard and you know it's basically an all inclusive package. The whole lot. Yeah, but uh, but it's 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 priced significantly higher than the silver uh, because it makes psychologically the silver very affordable. So you, um, you so silver's the middle. So is the objective to start them on silver, then upgrade them later on? Is that what you're planning to do? You know, I typically, if somebody has hesitation or they're on the uh, border, I, I I say, why don't you try out the lower one for a couple months, and let and let's just find out uh, how this works, and then. And I'll give you an option to uh, in three in three or four months right. to move up. That's the way to go. Um, rather than to have it be all or nothing. Um, so I, I'm comfortable with them starting, you know, at a lower level, and then just uh, you know it, 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 it puts the pressure on me to, to move you know to to, uh, to graduate them up if I can. So the last six months you've been uh, immersed in what we've got. You know, you joined the Magnify program. What um, what are some of the key resources that you've dug into that have made the biggest difference to you? Well, uh, so the Learning Hub was probably the biggest. I went back after um, the firm of now, and I immediately had my team, you know, go through the Learning Hub. And I, I just nobody told me to do this, but I said, okay, why doesn't everybody go through the 13 uh, modules and become an accredited business advisor? Yeah, right. uh, and and I said, no, that and that will be a credential you can then tell people. Yeah, so get, get everybody, yeah. everybody got excited, or both of them got excited about that. And uh, so that kind of, and then I, and then the success manager Taylor made a, a learning. Uh, so a success uh, manager is one of our team working with um, uh, with, with Dave. Yeah. 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 So there was a, there was too many. If you just went, you know, in order chronologically or sequentially, there was too many modules in there. So so he Taylor made one for awesome. us to follow, and then everybody committed a couple hours a week to, to watch those and we just you know talked about them and and that's what we did you know pretty much through tax season until everybody had watched all of them. Is, it, is that about the implementation time a couple of hours a week or is it more than that? Uh, I it, it averaged probably two to three hours I they probably could have done it faster okay. um, 
I just, I, you know, we were we were moving into the busy time of the year, close, and I, close, close, yeah. but I didn't want to, I didn't want them to take any time off because I, it would be harder to start it back up again uh, if awesome. we didn't try to keep it alive. Keep it down, yeah. a while. So, a uh, bunch of people here that are first time. Uh, what advice would you give to them? You know, uh, someone once said that you know a lot of people at the middle level of success challenge everything and think they can reinvent it and do it themselves and. And somebody once said uh, that the people that are really successful, um, when they see something that works, they don't question or challenge it, they just apply it. And I, I think I, as I, you know, my temptation was, I'll just take little bits and pieces and, and go do it the same way I'd always done it. And I thought, no, this time it just makes sense for me to plug in to a program that already has a track record and just, you know, do everything that I'm supposed to, Good. which is not my nature. Sure. Uh, so you can't trust the process. You're right. Yeah. Right. And and so I mean, one thing leads to another. Right. You know, uh, the coaching club now is starting next month. And, sure. And uh, you know, the, you, once you start drinking the Kool Aid, you just want more Kool Aid. So we can double. <laughs> Please give Dave a round of applause. That was awesome.